Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you clicked, I won't disappoint, so let's get straight into this video. I did it. I did it. I did it, guys. I did it. Y'all might think this might be the Tasmans, but no. These are the Taz. Just alike, just in the same family, okay? So these are just the platform of the Tasmans, and I like the silhouette way more better because I did order the Tasmans in like this. It was called like Rainstorm something. It was, but I had to return it. Why? Because the sizing. But we'll get into sizing when that time comes these are the babies these are my babies i got them in the sand color they're lined with a plush which is just wool then the bottom is just suede but the top braided embellishment is just recycled polyester this is the protectant that i was telling y'all about that you can get at walmart it's a pretty big can to be honest but protect your investment mm -hmm. a word amen sizing should you size up, should you size down, should you shade true to size? What did Talisha do? Talisha got hers true to size. I got mine in a woman's seven. I'm a true woman's seven. And I don't know. I Sometimes I feel like my feet switch sides, change sizes. But I just realized it's just Uggs. Uggs are just weird. In the Ultra Mini, I'm a six. In the Tasmans, the Tasmans drove me crazy. And I came to the conclusion of what? With the Tasmans, stick with your size. When I purchased the Tasmans, I got them in a size 6. Because in all my Uggs, I usually size down. They usually fit. They stretch out. Okay? So when I got the Tasmans, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to get the 6. Because in everything else, I'm a 6. They were tiny. Tiny. Too small. They were not snug. They were small. So when I bought these, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to buy my size. And honestly, they fit. But I would have got the woman six, wore them around the house, because knowing Uggs, they will stretch, these would have stretched. And I would have just wore thick socks around the house, done some laps, and I'm pretty sure it would have been perfect. These, I'm like forced to wear thick socks, and it's not a bad thing, like, I'm not trying to make this sound like, oh, like, it's like, girl, return it. But it's, it's really not that serious to me. I feel like I'm most likely gonna be wearing it in the fall, this type of season anyways when it's cold Ooh, a package getting dropped off i mean by my business but anywho oh see wasn't lying this is also like a little tip to those that are probably like size seven on under go to the kids there is material differences but at the same time if you want to spend less money to get like the same look go to the kids I'll show y'all the chart. So the woman's chart shows y'all that a woman's seven is a 9.45. And then on the big kids chart, it's a size, hold on. A size six is a 9.65. A 5.5 is 9.45, which is equivalent, like exactly equivalent to a woman's seven, which is a 9.45. But because they don't, ugh, I'm getting tons of stuff. I'm talking too fast. A woman's seven is 9.45. And then a big kids. 5.5 is 9.45 i feel like i'm saying so many numbers right now but they match but because uggs don't do half sizes for whatever reason or the soloists that i pick they don't do half sizes you have to go to a six because you can't fit in a five a five is 9.25 we're not squeezing our toes in a five and getting corn we're not doing that so we're getting a six and a six is 9.65 so if you're also a woman 7.5 you can also fit into this but you're gonna be like perfect because the measurements are literally 9.65 and the 6 is a 9.65 so do what you want to do with that information you can also fit into kid sizes because also with Nike I fit into a woman's 5.5 and a 6 it just kind of depends on the silhouette like if it's Air Force One 5.5 I'll go for a 6 if I want to go crazy and there's no size but it's like the same thing you're gonna fit listen to me don't go in the comments asking these questions hold my hand when i say this if you are a woman seven you can fit into a big kid six if you're a woman 7.5 you can fit in a big kid six but just keep in mind you will be like snug perfect because the shoe will measure at a 9.65 and a woman's 7.5 is a what 
a 9.65. Okay. You held my hand. It was soft, thing. I don't know. These babies cost me 150 plus tax. And the tax wasn't that bad on the site that I bought it off of. So that was good too. But I would have linked it. But when I checked, they were already gone. And they had the chestnut. And when I look back, my size was gone. Like the popular sizes was gone. So I was just like, this color, I, you might have some trouble finding these. That's the other reason why everyone was just like, don't sell it, don't sell it, don't give it away, just wear it. Like, if it fits, you just wear the thick socks and call it a day. But I really think I might go and buy the chestnut or the black in a size 6 and do like maybe like a little comparison video and show y'all. Because y'all will see these on my feet. And I also take my socks off for my non UGG sock wears and I showed y'all how that looked too. Because that's where you can more see what I'm talking about with it, it fitting but it not being snug on my feet. But I can still walk. I can still move around. I'm not tripping or falling or nothing like that. So that's just me. Y'all will see a little try on portion with me walking and having it on a little. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have these shoes, let me know. What color do you get? Are you a chestnut girly? Are you a black a girly? Because that was a, that's another debate. Black or chestnut? Are we going original? Are we going with what can go with every fit? You know what I'm trying to say here? Mm. But yeah, leave that down below. That's like a little, little discussion that we can have. And I'll see the eye. And yeah, thank y'all for watching.